Ford Motor Sports direct link with the RS badge lasted until 1992 and the mighty Cosworth Escort RS, also the last all-wheel drive RS model. After that Ford's marketing department took over the RS badge, but it wasn't all bad. Since then RS has become an important auto de fe for Ford's production engineers whether it's on the rump of a Fiesta or a Focus. Each of the previous two Focus RS models have been the acme of the possible in a small hatchback. This 2016 Focus is no different, although its searing turbo power requires all-wheel drive, just like the old Escort Cosworth. There are four driver modes, Normal, Sport, Track, and Drift. Each successively hardens the responses of the steering, throttle, damping, all-wheel drive system, stability control, and exhaust noise. Drift softens the steering and damping, but drives the outside rear wheel harder to unsettle the tail and enable you to emulate a kin block Gymkhana for 30 minutes until the tires burst or the heat buildup in the clutches causes the system to shut you down. And if you drift it every day, the systems remember and politely ask you to change the differential lubricant at shorter intervals. Under the hood is a 2.3-liter turbo four-cylinder from the Mustang with new liners, an alloy cylinder head courtesy of Cosworth, and an all-new Honeywell twin scroll turbocharger breathing through an intercooler cooler the size of suitcase. It has variable cam timing and direct fuel injection, and drives through a beefed-up six-speed manual transmission with a shortened gear shift. Brakes are by Brembo, with massive front monoblock calipers, the biggest they can fit inside the standard 18-inch wheels, though that's just for snow tire or snow chain fitments, pretty much all US spec cars will come on 19-inch rims. The raw data is 345 horsepower at 6,000 revolutions per minute, up to 347 pounds to foot of torque on overboost at 2,000 revolutions per minute. The top speed is 165 miles per hour, with 0 to 62 miles per hour coming up in 4.7 seconds. Did we mention the options list? At $35,730 the RS is something of a bargain, but had in any paint color other than black, something sounding familiar here? Hard-backed front seats which you need if you want to give your rear passengers any kind of legroom, or even a sat-nav and a glitzy Sony stereo, and you're speeding past $40,000 so fast you'll barely see it. It's easy to position, it's easy to control and it's fast. Says Jurgen Gagstatter, chief program engineer. Yeah, and it does go nuts at a flick of a switch. We know this is childish, but out of sight of the Ford chaperones, we dialed in the sauciest setting on the driving menu and turned circles in a deserted parking lot. Experienced donutters will attest that it's not so much getting the tail out, or even so much holding it there, but getting it back without spinning in front of your admiring audience that makes it so difficult. Ford has worked hard to banish understeer and you can feel the car shift power to the rear wheels to try and turn the nose in. If you saw at the wheel, the Focus RS will understeer. The ride is best described like a sea forecast, firm and choppy. Tolerable on a newly surfaced interstate, get off the highway and your back will chafe against the seats, and concrete expansion joints will have the specially developed Michelin tires reporting like pistol shots. That said, those tires relinquish grip so smoothly and progressively you'll forgive them quite a lot.